Sunrise Daily, coming to you live from our Abuja studio. Standing by with me this morning is the Commissioner of Information in Adamawa State, Mr. Ahmad Sajo. You're very welcome to the program, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So many issues uh, concerning the uh, APC primaries in Adamawa State, in which uh, your, uh, your principal, the Executive Governor of Adamawa State, Governor Jibrila, will uh, participate. Can you give us a sense of what uh, your assessment is of the prospects of y the incumbent governor winning the APC primary on Thursday? I, I, I think there's no doubt about that. Uh, there's no, 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 no concern as far as, as uh, our own uh, thinking is. We, we're sure. You know, you know, Adamawa State has always been a huge uh, laboratory for pol political experimentation. We, we have had the most turbulent political history in this country uh, between 2007 and 2015. We've had eight people take oath of office as governors in eight years, which was uh, very, very disturbing. And, but you know that the present governor had been able to, to a large extent, stabilize the polity for the last three uh, years and, and, and a few months. And beyond that, and I, I want to also tell you that he has done tremendously well, particularly in, in fiscal infrastructure and, and, of course, in repositioning the state uh, properly. We've had, uh, you know, we were one of the states that were affected by Boko Haram. Seven of our local governments were overrun by Boko Haram. But despite that, we were able to rally our people based on their capacity for resilience their capacity to, to, to take their destiny into their hands. We have reconstructed Mubi, which was uh, taken over by Boko Haram and rechristened Madinatul Islam, uh, you know, was uh, depleted both infrastructurally and population-wise. Today, the Mubi is more than three times its former population. We have reconstructed most of the roads there. We have even installed uh, street lights and done a lot of other things. And the same thing with Jimeta and all other areas. But you know, Commissioner, some, some people would, uh, would counter uh, the notion that you presented this morning that the incumbent governor has nothing to worry about in these upcoming primaries. Because we, we, we understand that up until this point, up until I believe it was yesterday, the day before, it was an indirect primary. Of course, the delegates being controlled by uh, the state executive committee, which was, uh, of course, replaced recently by a caretaker committee, that essentially it may be out of the governor's hands now that it was changed to no, a direct no, no, primary. No, no. Is there no concern No, no, no. I think, I, think, I think the scenario is being painted very wrongly. Mm. Uh, the, in the first instance, uh, the, the governor's roots are not in the delegates. They are in the people. The people whose lives, you know, through his uh, massive infrastructure development, through his intervention in health care, in education, we have about 402 or three primary health care centers that are operating 24 hours. And we were adjudged the best, the second best in the country and the best in northern Nigeria in primary health care delivery. And the people appreciate all of these things. They know these things. So there is no, 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 no argument about it. You can go, if you like, direct. If you like, you can go indirect. The people are solidly behind him. What concerns us now, if you're talking about delegate, what concerns us is that if the National Executive Committee had asked the State Executive Committees to decide what method they're going to use, and the State Executive Committee decided that we wanted indirect primaries, and then we sent it to the National, and the National accepted it, and we invited delegates to come to Yola. In, it was in the rain that they stood at the gates of the venue to wait, they were shocked, only for that thing to be cancelled. And then they were asked to go home like that. Some went back with cold, some went back with fever. That's the one that hurts us most. No, and but, we have apologised to them. No, but that now, that now becomes a non-issue because we understand that it was changed from indirect to direct. So exactly. It's, now it's no longer a delegate it's, race. It's no longer a delegate Which is race. why some people are saying the incumbent governor has cause for concern. Because no, they, yes, yes. Uh, let me, let yeah. me elaborate. Okay, they, okay. they say that uh, very popular candidates, particularly one of note, uh, at least amongst the grassroots in your state, Malam Nuhu Ribadu, the former chairman of ESCC, uh, has the kind of grassroots network that is putting the, uh, the, the governor on, on, on notice in the state. What, what, are, what are your uh, thoughts uh, about uh, that? And, and where was his grassroots network in 2015 when he came uh, a distant third in the governorship election? 
Look, let us, let us be very clear. I, we, we, we have tremendous respect for Nuhuri Badu. We have tremendous respect for Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Alilu, who is also contesting. But we know that despite this, that they are no match to the incumbent governor. The incumbent governor was not an incumbent in 2015 when we, we mobilized our grassroots uh, structures and defeated a sitting government in that state. No, but you know, there, you know, you know that there, there are those polit uh, political prognosticators who have suggested that the, the incumbent governor is merely a, 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 and politically speaking, is merely a beneficiary of the Buhari sweep across the North in 2015, no, no. that if anybody had that APC ticket, they would have entered that no, office. No, 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 no sir. I, I want to tell you that amongst all uh, the PDP senators at the time that the APC came, the first senator in the PDP that changed and went to the APC, even when APC, there was uncertainty in APC, was uh, Senator Muhammad Maru Jibril Abindo. He had faith in the APC. He came and helped us build the APC. He helped in bringing up the structure of the APC. He did. He worked for the, the governorship he's sitting on. He did not rely on uh, the, the, the clean sweep. He relied on himself. He worked for it. And we all worked for it. I was part of that team. I knew what, 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 what took place. It, it, there was a time that you know, it was, it was a frightful thing for somebody to call himself an APC member in Adama State. I knew this. I was there. I was talking APC, even when nobody, everybody had, had, had gone underground. You know, so, so, so the truth about it is that we built our structures. We, we built our structures. We looked for, for, for people to come and, and, and work with us, and we, 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 we worked through, through those, those structures okay, let's, and established the government. Let's take a more comprehensive look at the political landscape now in Adamawa. Yeah. Uh, we've mentioned, we, I've discussed, uh, of course, uh, Malam Nuhu Ribadu, who is there, the brother-in-law to the first lady, Aisha Buhari, Dr. Halilu uh, Mahmoud, mm. is also there. The entire Matala and Yako political machine has now migrated to the African Democratic Congress, ADC. Yeah. Also there, Senator Abdulaziz and Yako is the governorship candidate of yes. ADC. Yes. You have all of these major forces in Adamawa moving against the incoming governor. And you're saying that based on what the governor has done, that that will be enough. But yes. if, if, if it is true that the Buhari sweep, uh, the Buhari uh, factor in the north is, is, is truly at play, that the person, whoever, whoever carries the APC ticket, carries a clear advantage over everybody else on, uh, by virtue of that. Well, should definitely. you now not be concerned that if the governor, if, it's a, it isn't if, if he does not get the APC ticket, would he consider migrating to another party? Uh, it, it's, it's not even in the cards. We are not even moving anywhere because we are, taking, we are picking the APC ticket. I'm very positive. And, 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 and let me tell you, the Buhari factor, yes, is very potent, is very, is, is very important for whoever emerges as the candidate of the APC. That is definite, no argument about that. But I am telling you that we're working very hard. We have worked very hard. We are putting structures on the ground. We understand uh, the opposition, but the opposition...